Uh, hi, Alison. There's a couple of things that I didn't um, explain fully yesterday, and that was how to insert links and images. Um, let's take an image first. Um, you saw me do this yesterday. I took out an image just by hitting the um, delete button. I want to do to put this to put that back, and so I put the cursor where I want it, and then I go up here to the toolbar. And you can see there's a uh, sort of image there, very similar to the one we're going to put in. So you just click on that and the uh, drop down bar uh, box comes down and then we look for the image location. Now it's important that uh, images go into the hideaway folder, uh, otherwise it'll, it'll, um, it'll, the, the uh, thing won't find it properly. So I'm going to the hideaway folder where I've got this image and I just simply click on that and I'll bring it over so you can see a bit better and just, just open it up. It shows up here and then remember we talked about alternative text or something for that could be say Daintree uh, Sunset or something. And that, that alternative text isn't seen by anybody looking at the, the sort of the front page. The uh, robots pick up on it and it helps with the search engine optimization. So we've got the alternative text in there. We pick this up out of the hideaway folder. There's a little preview of it and we just hit OK. And it's gone into where we want it. I, I look up here at the toolbar though and it's gone into the justify thing there. We don't want that there. We want it in the middle. So we just pop that in the middle. And there it is. And the um, description of it actually shot over to the middle too. We want that back at the left. And that's, that's fairly straightforward. Just remember the, the um, image that you're putting back there should be the same width as the one that, that came out. And then to uh, sort of look again down the bottom here to see how the column looks and how it all fits. Now if we were doing a um, link, you know, we could highlight some text here, like I'm doing, and we could make a link out of that going back up where we were before on the... On the um, toolbar there's an insert or edit a link so we click on that and down comes the drop down box uh, I already have a, uh, a uh, website there I think I might have sent that over to you anyway so we, we'll, we'll just pop that in if you wanted to give it a title you could put another keyword in there somewhere and simply go on OK and that becomes a link to that website that just happened to be there. You can type in any website that you like. And if I, we don't want that there, <laughs> actually, so what I'll do is I'll remove it again. But that's how to put a, a link in. And we'll just put that back. No, we won't. We'll have to go a little bit further. A little trick. So more or less the uh, web page has gone back to itself. So that's, that's all I wanted to show you, something that I forgot to show you yesterday. And we can uh, save it. There it is. And then we'll pop out of the uh, video.